Hi everyone. So this episode is an update on my routines. Um, nobody asked for an update on my routines, but um, I was taking a quick break from work and I realized, oh, I not only feel content, but I actually am in a decent mood and I don't have anxiety. Like I'm not worrying about anything for once. And it's not like I have anxiety, um, you know, like every minute of every day or anything like that. But um, it's just nice to be aware of, oh, it feels so great not to be anxious about something for the brief amount of time that um, I won't be anxious about something. And then I realized, um, you know, I know my, for the most part, I know things happen that are out of your control. But as far as I know, this week, the rest of this week, um, is going to go the way that I want it to go. And yeah, I mean, is it a control issue? Or is it just I need my brain to be happy and functional? Because that's probably more of what it is. Um, And my routines keep me grounded. Um, I'm kind of like embarrassed to to talk more about my routines. I know I talked about this before. Um, Every so often I change them up too. Like I don't do the exact same thing day in and day out for months and months and months. I usually, there's some variation of it. I'll like, I'll change up every so often so that I'll still have routines, but I just do different things during the routines. And, um, because it doesn't, it makes it so it's not like, I don't find my routines boring, but you know, I like them. And so I thought I would just do an update on this is kind of what like a typical day goes like for me. Uh, not not because I want to hear myself talk. Um, I mean, I really I just I don't like talking about myself, but you know, there might be those of you out there who disagree 120 something episodes into this podcast that I don't like to talk about myself. But anyways, so this is for anybody out there who um, I don't know, maybe I mean, I'm sure most of you have routines. You've got to. You're autistic. You've got to have routines. But just in case, like, you think yours are weird or uh, you haven't heard anybody talk in more detail about their routines or whatever, um, this is for you. So um, I'm just going to start at the beginning of my day and go through it and let you know what I do. Um, so I get up when I get up. I usually go to bed around two. I'm up by like 10, 11 at the latest, but usually like 10. And so I get up and I go turn the coffee on and I make that and then I sit down and I pull out like, so I have my, I have these, there are two recliners but they're connected and they're like electric. So like you push buttons and the thing goes up and down. I don't know how to explain, but there's this like console in between the two um, connected recliners. You lift up like I could fit a fucking cat in this thing. It's like so deep. Um, And that's where I keep all of my, not most of my books that I use for like my routine. So once I sit down with my coffee, I get all my shit out and my morning routine typically takes about an hour. <clears throat> Sorry for the grossness. And sometimes it goes longer than that, like maybe an hour and a half, two hours would be pushing it. But those are on days where I wake up and I don't have any work pending. And I feel like I can take my time with my routines because I'm still trying to figure out how, uh, like if I have work to do, I have to make myself not rush through my routine to get to the work or to turn or to return an email because I won't do anything work related until after my routines. Um, And it's still so hard for me to do because as soon as I see an email from a client, I just want to like just immediately like write them back. But I make myself wait until after my routine because I don't have to write people back right away or whatever. But anyways, so I have my book. I have one notebook for uh, this hasn't changed. I've talked about this before about what's going right in the morning. I'll write down seven things that's going right in my life. Um, like today, 
I wrote, um, I get to work today. What's going right is I have the house to myself. We finally put a railing up yesterday um, for our porch so that nobody can sue us if they fall coming up the stairs. And I put um, a delivery is coming. Um, it's going to be a cloudy day. Just things that like I enjoy that are going right in my life. And right after that, I journal. I do like a check-in. Um, usually a couple of sentences. And then after that, and this stuff is in order. Um, after that, I have a gratitude journal that I had gotten for Alicia like, I don't know, a year or two ago. And she did it for like a week. And then that was it. And so I was like, I'll just take this because I'll actually use it. And so I write down the shit that I'm grateful for. And there's like 10 lines for each day. So I fill up all 10 lines because to me, it seems weird to just write, I'm grateful for like two things. And uh, there's so many other lines that I could fill. It makes it look like I'm not that grateful for stuff. Nobody else is reading this. This is just me. And I know none of this is true, but this is how I think. So I make sure I fill up all 10 lines every single day to let the universe know, thank you. I'm very grateful. Um, But it's, it's not a bad practice anyways, because it does remind me like, hey, I, I might be having a hard time right now, but things are not as bad as they seem. And this is why. And I can just flip back on any day and read all of the things that like I'm grateful for. And it helps me. And then after that, oh, and this entire time I'm listening to uh, music, usually dubstep um or like hardcore depending on whatever mood I'm in and so then I do a word search because I still do those because I don't want to get Alzheimer's and I'm pretty sure if you keep using your brain as much as possible hopefully that like it will not give me Alzheimer's or like maybe there'll be a cure by then but who knows but I, I do my word searches so I do one of those and then this is kind of embarrassing I I'm not in school, Uh, obviously, I have no desire to go back to school, but I do like to learn things and I take notes on these things as if I'm in school. Um, And I am kind of embarrassed about that because like, I don't know anybody that does this. So I don't know if this is a just me thing. But right now, I'm reading a book about prisons. Um... Because I love anything that has to do with like incarceration, uh, criminal justice reform, all that kind of stuff. And um, I do a little section, like a couple of pages. I take notes and I read and I learn about something I didn't know before. Um, And I think I do this because I don't know, like my days can sometimes get pretty busy. And I like to make sure I'm always learning things throughout the day. And so if I put it into my routine, it will happen. And I think it's important to, like for me, I want to learn new things every day. I don't want to just like go through my days and just do my shit and then go to sleep and then wake up and go through the day and do my shit. Like I want to learn stuff. I want to like understand more about life. But anyways, so I do that. That usually takes about mm, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes. And then after that, I read a chapter of whatever book I'm currently on. Sometimes I've got two books going at once, so I'll read a chapter in each one. Um, But I make sure I at least read one full chapter of a book to make sure that's that's done and that I learned something. And the books are not like, I don't read um, things that aren't real. I like to read stuff by like David Rico, Brené Brown, um, not so much like self-help type stuff, but just books by researchers who know what the fuck they're talking about when it comes to like how you relate with people and stuff like that um so yeah I don't I I mean like I find those topics interesting so to me it's still reading for fun I just I like to read real things like memoir memoirs and stuff like that sorry about my talking um and then after that I check out Substack. So I subscribe to Tegan and Sarah's surprise, surprise Substack. And um, I'll check there to see, do they have like a new thing that they posted? And then after that, I check our, 
our finances. I have like my little budget book. And so like I compare with the account online, like making sure everything is the same in my budget book. So I know where we're at financially, um, like with bill money and stuff. And then I go on Upwork. And if you haven't figured it out, I'm reading off of my list um, that I make every day. And so then I go on to Upwork and I look through all of the recent job postings and apply to any that fit me. Then I, after that, I mean, wait, do I do that first? Oh no, before, sorry, not that this really is like life changing for any of you guys, but after I check my money stuff, then I go brush my teeth I wash my face with a hot washcloth just to get all the crusties and shit off. Um, And then I put old lady cream on that takes like five minutes, like vitamin E and coconut. I put that all over my body to make sure that I don't have that many itchies during the day from being on in menopause. So I do that. And then I feel like I'm ready for the day. Once I've got my lotion on and my teeth brushed and my face washed, I feel like I'm ready to like continue with the day or whatever. I don't know. That's my way of like getting ready for nothing. I don't know. And then is when I get on Upwork to check out what's available. Now, part of my routine, this is not written into my schedule, but I have beverages so that I drink in order. Um, I have coffee first, and then I have a glass of orange juice, and then I have a cup of cinnamon tea that has tons of like caffeine in it and tastes delicious and then I have water after that like a fruit to a water and then I have a celsius and then I have like another water and then it's whatever I feel like drinking the rest of the day um I don't know why this is this has been going on for like a while I don't know why I'm drinking beverages in order other than it makes my brain happy. I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. But anyways, that's part of the routine too. So then I get on Upwork and I look for whatever's available, apply to it, blah, blah, blah. Um, I check like my email to see if I have any work that somebody sent to me there to do. Um, if I have work, I do it. So I'll get started on it. And then if I have to go outside for anything, like if I have to go to the store or run some kind of an errand, I do that before I get an hour into my work. So like I'll work for like an hour and then I'll stop and then I'll go and do what I need to do and then come back because if I work any longer than an hour, I'm not going to want to, I'm not going to leave the house to go do what needs to be done because I'll just get hyper-focused on work. Um, And sometimes I don't even do the hour of work before I leave. I just leave after I've brushed my teeth and done all that and do the errand just to get it out of the way. Because sometimes I'll just sit here and think about, oh, I've got to get this done. And is now a good time to do it? Or, you know, I just get it out of the way. Because I don't really like to go out into the world very often. And so as soon as I can get that over with, the better. And then I do whatever errand I had. I come home. I get back to work. Sometimes I record an episode like I'm doing now. Um, If I don't have any work to do, um, I'm usually like cleaning the house or I've got some project going on with something in the house that needs to be organized or organized better or something. So like I don't just sit and watch TV because I find that unproductive during the day. I don't think that I should be watching TV at home during the day just because I don't have any work that I currently need to do um because that would just make me not want to do anything for the rest of the day so I do the chores that I need to do um those get done regularly anyways every day I wash dishes I put the dishes away there's like a whole chore schedule too that I don't write down but that I do in order am I jumping around sorry um so Whether or not I have work, I do these things, I guess I should say. And I do them in some kind of an order. So if I have laundry, laundry goes in first. Then I put dishes away that have been dried. Then I wash whatever dishes are in the sink from like last night. And I make coffee uh, because I have like a drip coffee thingy. And so I prepare it because I don't, maybe I'll want to have like a cup of coffee later tonight. Or maybe I just... It'll be ready for me tomorrow morning to just push the button and it'll start getting made. And I do that because 
that just, I don't want to have to do that later. Like when you want coffee and then you have to sit there and like make it. I don't know. To me, that's just like a lot. I don't want to do that. So if I just have it ready, then it's ready. And then I scoop the litter boxes. And um, or maybe I, I vacuum too after whatever toys I need to do, I do blah, blah, blah. And then I come back to my laptop and I look to see if there's any more jobs on Upwork or anywhere else. Because one of the most annoying things about being a freelancer is you don't get paid for looking for work and you don't know when you're going to find it, if you're going to find a lot, if you're not going to find any, if you're going to find a little bit. So it's always a surprise, but that's like a daily thing. Like I, I spend quite a bit of time looking for work because I'm just not at the point in my freelance career yet where I have so many regular clients that I never have to apply to jobs again. I don't know anybody who's like that, but I'm, I bet the ones that are good at freelancing are. Um, and then another goal I have, so like, I forgot to say that my schedule in my notebook on the back, so on the front page, I write what's going right, the seven things. And then on the back page, I have half of the, the page is for daytime stuff. And then the rest of the page is for nighttime stuff. So during the day, I drink half of my water goal, which is, what do they say? Like, Half your weight in ounces is what you should be drinking in water every day. So I make sure I'm at the halfway point before five o'clock at night because then that's when it turns into nighttime. And uh, I make sure I listen to a little bit of my audiobook, whether I'm doing chores and listening to it or, or later in the shower. I always listen to audiobooks when I'm in the shower. I make sure I listen to a little bit of whatever audiobook I have going. Um, and then. At night, I have my copy editing book I do a chapter from because I am always trying to get better at my craft. And so I need to like daily like teach myself some shit because there's still so much I probably don't know. And I I want to get better. I don't want to just like, you know what I mean? I can't just do copy editing and proofreading and not try to better myself with those things. That's no different than like, I don't know, when you're at at like a normal job and you have to do trainings every so often. I don't know. That's how I kind of look at it. But I make sure I do a chapter of that. Um, And by that chapter, I mean, I read it and then I take notes. And then I work on whatever book I am writing for myself, like whatever journal I'm writing. Um for other autistic people. And, you know, thank you for those of you who are reading it and like purchasing. It's starting to like uptick a bit and I appreciate that. Um, And then I do nighttime chores. So those would include like any other dishes from like any meals throughout the day. Um, it I prepare, I quote, prepare the bedroom for sleep. Does anybody else do this? Um, for me, that includes making sure that it's at least 67 degrees in the room, um, turning my fan on so that it's just on when I go to bed, because I don't know, fans make the room smell like sleep. And I don't know how to explain that any better than that. If a a fan has been going in the room for like hours and then I go to bed, it just, it makes the room smell different. That sounds so stupid, but it's true for me. And it makes me like, I'm so excited to go to sleep because this is the perfect conditions for going to sleep. I know this is exhausting. And at night I also take, uh, wait, what did I finish the chores yet? No. What other chores do I have? Oh, giving the cats fresh food and water. Um, is that it? No, I have more than that. I don't know, but so moving right along, then I, I have a shower that I take, you know, cause I like to stay clean. So I take showers at night now. Um, mostly because I used to take showers in the morning when I would go out to work at other places because that's how it woke me up in the morning and I felt fresh and I wanted to go to work fresh. I don't do that now because during the day, especially during summer, I might be out mowing or doing things that won't make a shower ha- like pointless Because I don't want to take a shower in the morning and then go spend two hours outside getting sweaty and mowing and weeding and doing all that shit and then just have to take another shower. 
Like, I try to only take one a day. Um, and then I read another chapter in the book that I'm reading. So each day I make sure that at least two chapters get read in a book. Um, then I make sure I listen to at least one podcast. I try to listen to two or or three if I have the time, but I always make sure I listen to at least one podcast because again, like I like to learn things. Um, and most of my podcasts have been about people who have, or, um, not have people who are autistic And then after that, I have on my list an educational video to watch. So that might be like something about animals um, or prisons or a TED Talk, something that will teach me something. And I realize I like to learn a lot, apparently, but. And then after that, I have on here my podcast. Did I do anything for my podcast that day? Did I record an episode? Did I look for topics for the future? I have to have done something at least for my podcast. Then I have finishing my water goal. So the rest of the water I need to drink for the day should be drunk before midnight. And then I have another word search that I do because Alzheimer's. I don't want to get that. And then... I take more notes from whatever book I'm reading to learn from, like prison books or like what I did that morning. A lot of like what I did in the morning gets repeated at night. So I do it twice. I don't know. I just feel better doing that. I don't know. Um, And then I read a magazine article out of what is this one called? Psychotherapy Networker, I think. And I write that down on my list because it's hard for me, this sounds kind of weird, but it's hard for me to like read magazines. The, the articles are so long. There's not that many pictures. Each page has like just a row, like three columns of words. It just seems like it's an odd layout. It seems like it'll take forever to go through the article. And so the only way I can get through the magazine is if I have on my schedule to read a magazine article at night um until I get through the magazine I don't know I like to learn but I'm not a big magazine fan but I don't know I can go on that's not that's irrelevant I'm just gonna keep moving along if anybody's still listening and then I write what went right today so it's kind of the opposite of what's going right it's like what went right about my day today and so like yesterday I put I actually left the house and went to Walgreens. I found a box of spree. I recorded an episode of my podcast. Uh, We finally put the railing up for the porch stairs. Um, I got half of a book done for work. I write stuff like that because it's a reminder that I was productive throughout the day. As if I need a reminder, but I do feel like I need one. I mean, like, I never stop. I'm always doing something, but still... Um, I like to know, like, was my day productive? Could I have done more? And then, like, I journal. Like, which is more than just the morning journal. The morning is, like, a check-in. The nighttime journaling is, like, okay, these are some things that, like, I realized about myself today or problems I'm having or blah, blah, blah. And then after all of that's done, I write the schedule for the next day. So, I love paper products. I love to write. I will continue writing until I can't write anymore because my hands break. And then I will copy the exact same schedule for the next day. And then that's that. I don't know why. Like, I do know why. I don't care to have things like on the computer and print it out and me go off of that. For whatever reason, it has to be handwritten. I've always been that way. And that seems weird, but I can't change it now. And then um, the rest of the night, I do whatever I want to do. Like, not that I haven't been doing what I want to do, but you know what I mean? Like, I'll watch shows. Maybe I'll have time to listen to more podcasts. Maybe, like, me and Alicia will do something. Um, So, yeah. And then I only do this specific routine schedule Monday through Friday. Because I used to do it every day, but Alicia kept fucking up my weekends by wanting to do normal things that normal people want to do. 
And I realized, you know, I can't just stick to this rigid schedule every day. I should at least give myself a couple of days. And you know what? It's not that bad because when I get up in the morning on a Saturday, I don't have to go through my entire routine before I get to, before I start working on a book, if I want it to work on Saturday, you know what I mean? Like, I don't have to go through all of that, or I can just like get up and do whatever I want. I don't know. It just seems like a break from the schedule, but I like having my schedule. Does that make any sense? And then anything that I do throughout the day that wasn't on my schedule, I add. So like, if I did my laundry, if I washed the dishes, um, if I went to Walgreens, I write all of that down because at the end of the day, it just helps seeing all that stuff and like reminds me like, yeah, you did the most that you could do today. You were productive. Um, it was a success. <laughs> and that's kind of how like I live my days. So yeah, I don't know if this was helpful. I hope it was for people. Um, I really, I don't like talking about myself. I really don't. But, um, I feel like this is stuff that like, I would want to hear somebody say, I haven't heard anybody talk about their routines. Still to this day, I have yet to find anybody on a podcast giving details about their routines. I don't know why I need to hear this. I do know why. I don't know why I keep saying I don't know. I need to hear this from somebody so that I feel better about my shit. (laughs) I can't, like, I can't just feel okay with it. Like, I have to know, is there anybody else that is this, like, this specific with your routines? Like, what do your routines entail? Because I hear people talk about, oh, I've got my morning routine I got to do, but they don't tell anybody what it is. Like, I, I would love to know, like, what other people do for routines. Do you do the same things I do? Do you, like, I don't know. Do you, can you tell me? Please? <laughs> Am I the only one that is this rigid with like routines? And you know, when I was working at other places, I was never like this. I didn't have shit written down. I did have routines, but it wasn't this rigid. So I don't know. I guess like I just went like balls to the wall when I got out of like the regular work environment and started working for myself and realizing that I really can control every second of my day. Unless life happens and something else, you know, gets in the way. But like until then, I can still control every second of my day. And it makes me feel sane. It makes me feel grounded. Um, I have less anxiety. I always know what's coming next. So there's always something to do. I'm never bored. And at the end of the day, not only was I productive, but I learned a whole bunch of shit about different topics. So that's how I like to do my days. And so, yeah. Can somebody either email me and, like, tell me about your routines? I'm not trying to be creepy. I really am not. I'm just very curious. Or can you point me to, like, a podcast episode or an article or a book about another autistic person talking about their routines and what they do? I'd really appreciate it. Um, It would just help me feel, like, less weird, I think. But, yeah, that's all I've got for today. Um, Thank you for listening and goodbye.